micro your base as well as the surveyor, then you should definitely go for it. If you want to be a little bit more defensive, play it back, which is well, the matter right now with US Army since, since the pressures have such a big influence at the moment. Okay. You can just use it to scan out all the resources so you know exactly where you can expand and what's the safest place to expand to. <laughs> Did you notice all the harvesters, the crushers? <laughs> Six yep. of them already ready. <laughs> yeah. That's and he has eight of eight them mining. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He's got quite a few of them already. He's going for a massive attack rather than just a, a small defensive skirmish. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, Maze can stop this, but he already has that light vehicle bay up producing MGS strikers. Yeah, well, I think it's it's a bit too late. The, I think it's nice to have so many crushers, but I think it takes too long to pull this off. I mean, if you have six or seven, you can do this, but I think this takes too long. And although it are many units, I think it's quite easy to hold off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had gone with like uh, two or three, or four, and then snipe the uh, generator, which only has 25 <laughs> HP. That damage. <laughs> well, yeah. and now it's scouted though, so he knows what he's up against. Yeah, he knows what it's up against. Now he should spam. Um, oh yeah, the first MG nest coming MG up as well. Nest. Yeah. But like, like I said before, if you, you went earlier with like uh, what, maybe four or five, and then focus fire down the field generator, then the light vehicle bay would stop producing since it requires power. So you can't get any MGS strikers out if he's fast enough, and this is a very, very quick way to win versus a US player as compared. <laughs> yeah. What well, does the MG NAS need power as well? No, MG NAS does need power. But okay. you, if you follow it up with more crushers, then you have enough to kill the MG NAS while it's under construction. And here we can see strikers on the high ground, two MG NAS coming up. I don't think you can hold this. Two crushes down already. Yep. Third one down now. Fourth one down. Fifth one. Yeah, a lot of damage even on that MG nest. Seven. A lot of damage. Trees. Ten, about ten left. Oh my god. Yeah. Will he make it? But no, no strikers have been uh, killed. And now the chain reactions are coming up. And oh, oh. there we go. <laughs> power generator, so we won't be able to produce more strikers until that new power generator is up and running. But yeah, nice defense there by Maze. And Indeed, Maze, Maze is in the perfect position right now. I mean, he has one, two, three, four refineries and a vehicle bay up. And if you look at Salami, well, he has two at one oil field, so let's maybe make that one and a half. And he has two more up as well, but they just started, so... Maze has the upper hand by far right now. Yep, exactly, exactly. He does have uh, an extra three refineries out now, Salami. So he's preparing for the mid cape. He even has a barracks now, producing some SIS. Try and capture those pesky banks on the side. It'll be good to get some extra income for him. But yeah, he's on the back foot right now after this push. He is indeed. What should uh, Maze do right now? I think it's simple Tusk 1's in attack, that would be the best thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, just try and harass him as much as possible. Uh, usually after these kind of attacks, we see players opting to go for a big eco leap like Salami is doing right now. So this is the time where he's most vulnerable, so... Yeah, the pressure should be high. That, the pressure should sure. be on, exactly. I mean, he only has crushers, but I mean only. They still do tons of damage, but... I mean, those three... Uh, strikers he has should be able to do a lot of damage. Yeah, exactly. He still has uh, some snipers though, so uh, those will help quite a bit. But you can actually see four striker MGS now coming in on the right side on towards Salami's base. Yeah, this is gonna do quite a bit of damage. It will, <laughs> or it should do. Well, there's still a lot of crushers in there in his base, so if he does not make this a careful attack, he will lose his. Uh, strikers right away. Yep. There we go. We see the strikers coming in. Crushes. How many crushes do you think he will kill? Uh, uh, probably around 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> All right. Yeah. One down. Two down. 
Oh, he's already on three. seven, eight. He's on eight right now. On eight? No way, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> all of them in the uh, aluminum as well. Okay. Nine. Ten. There we go. Eleven. And he has he has only killed one striker. He did. Another one. Now you can see the strikers are going down. Yeah, the snipers are coming down as well. There we go, and he tends to fend off his attack. Still, losing about 11 or 12 pressures, that's gonna hurt quite a bit. It does. I mean, they are like 250, 300 to build? Yeah, 300, yeah. 300, well, about between three and 4,000 minerals spent, minus of, uh, I mean, including the mining time that has been lost. I mean, that's like 6,000 resources won right there. Yeah, exactly. You know, it cost them like 2,000 of each resources, so he's pretty uh, pretty safe right now. And we can see Maze opting to go for the uh, resource booster right now. We can see a logistical center being built next to his HQ. Probably going to go for those research uh, resource upgrades. Do you think that's a wise decision or should he simply go onto the map or just harass more? Uh, I think I think he should do both, and I, I hope that's what he's doing right now. I mean, he has forced five strikers out right now. I'm hoping he's going to use that. In the meantime, just stay back and eco up a bit. I mean, he's already Defcon 2, as you can see on the HQ. It has that extra middle uh, building on top there, which you get when you get Tier 2. So he already has that, as well as getting the Tier 2 Logistical Center upgrade. So he's going to be booming the economy very shortly. Yeah. Well, he just wants to win the eco game, and he should stay ahead in the uh, in the tank game. I mean, only the bar uh, how do you say uh, the support bay, the support bay is coming up, and a barracks. Lol, he is going full grenadiers. <laughs> is this a new tactic I simply don't know about yet, well, or is, uh, is this a slimy have, thing? Have gotten a buff, um, so they're pretty good. Okay. Uh, especially against strikers, if you get the extra range as well, um, yeah, they're pretty good, but they're pretty slow, so maybe you get something like a transport for the namers. If you can see some researches here for the namers, they got the medical upgrade as well as the iron fist. So, yeah, he's gonna opt to go for some uh, grenadier drops, maybe, or just having namers with grenadiers defending his front lines. Yeah, what do you think? Should Salami go into aggressive mode or just try to recover and win the eco game? Uh, right now, he should just defend and try to get up to maybe a better attack, get some economic footage. And he's doing that right now, he's even building an outpost, so he's gonna try and secure that center position. Yeah, well, um, I know Terminators are nerfed. Um, which late game is stronger now, Chimeras or USAs? Um, I, I think the, uh, mid game is definitely USA, the USA's pocket. Uh, oh, jeez. Are just amazing. Yeah, that fight over on the other side. The <laughs> healing on the Grenadiers, and there's no way Maze can get in there. No, indeed. He should just try to flank. He, I, I don't think he should have went in from this position again. He should know that on the left side, or at least the middle, that Salami is taking some buildings. He should have focused on that. I think this is a wrong way to move in from the right side. I even think that if you just have two groups of three. Strikers that he could have done way more damage. Yeah, yeah, especially on the other side, harassing those outside refineries would have been would have been very nice. Yeah. You can now actually see turrets from Salami coming in, so very interesting. Getting another refinery on that oil, very nice there, and a ninja to scout. Well, I have to say, I think Salami is coming back into this game. Well, you have to you have to realize that. Um, Chimera early game has those quick refinery upgrades which gives him a large boost but now that Maze is tier 2 Delphine and he has detected. the upgrades for his eco, his eco is going through the roof. He even has an armory now so he should be having Tusk 1 as well. So you think Maze is still ahead? I think Maze is still ahead and as you can see here we see strikers coming in and... We'll yeah, all those there. grenadiers. Oh, I'm so curious to see what happens. They are yeah. Tusk 1, but still, yeah, Namer is the gun. Good job, but there's a sniper there from Maze, and he's just sniping all of the Ah yeah, I missed that. <laughs> well, and I think he should move away with the Strikers now, why lose 
extra units if you have a sniper there. Yep. Wow. Poor Grenadiers. So, that fight is taken out, but he had another namer with uh, Grenadiers filled as well. Oh, I wonder what that one is, because I only Stealth see one namer that died. Oh, it's still in his base. He's going for a huge Grenadier namer push. You can see two yeah. fully filled namers with Grenadiers and two more namers coming out. So he's really, really going heavily on those Grenadiers with namer tactic. Do you very, think it will work? I mean, Maze knows now that he will face this. I mean, he just will simply build a few snipers and he's done, right? Yeah, well, he does have that ninja there, so if he can spot those snipers and take them down first thing, then he'll be in a good position because uh, the striker MGS don't do that much damage to the heavily armored grenadiers. So if Salami has good targeting and focuses down the snipers first, I think he'll be in a good position. I do think Mage should have had more units, I'm not sure. I mean, he had such an advantage. How c it may be just me, but I don't feel he took full advantage of the, the, the win in the early game. Yeah, w what I feel like is uh, he went for the economic upgrades too early. If he had gone for some refineries instead of those upgrades and now gotten those upgrades, he would have been in a much better position, I feel. Because you know, the more um, refineries you have, the more effect the upgrades will have yeah, on indeed. your economy. But it's always like, we know what happens, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you never know at forehand what will happen. Oh, the big attack coming in from Salami right now. Yeah. Actually taking down quite a bit of those units because he's so many grenadiers. He should push in right now. If he, ha he has the vision from the ninja, he can outrange those MG nests if he has the upgrade for the Grenadiers. So we're interested to see if he uses that to his full potential. This is not looking good for Maze. I don't think he can stop this. I mean, he has a few Strikers Tusk ones. I mean, ICVs that are anti-infantry as far as I know, but... Yep. Can he hold this? I mean, to repair things? Hercules? But will it be enough? Well, I guess we'll see soon enough. Oh, and there we can see some Striker MGS now. But with those healing, those will probably survive quite a lot. Yeah, none of them died. <laughs> so, so, yeah, but Slime is now forced to pull back. He's, It's the... Um, it's the thought, you know, it's the mental, um, how do you call it? Well, Wait, he, he feels like he should, he feels like he should retreat because there's something that counters his, um, his army. Yeah. His He's not confident he can win this. And if you go into a fight without confidence, you will lose guaranteed. Exactly. So very nice there. And still that ninja is proving to be so valuable right now. Uh, yeah. He knows exactly when to attack and when not to attack. So yeah, good job there. Isn't there a simple upgrade for USA that he can spot that helicopter? Um, a place oh, he moves us in. He moves in way too close. Oh, There wow. is no way he can win this. Yeah, those repair was If he moved into range of those two of GS, there we can see more strikers now coming out. Yeah. And this, this, this is the end, I think, for Salami. I'm not sure how you can... Uh, well, it still did a lot of damage, but why... It was a huge mistake to move into the range of those MG nests. Exactly, exactly. Now see so many strikers coming out, as well as those... Uh, are they snipers? Yeah, there are snipers there, so... And if you look at this gonna... main base from Salami, it's only Grenadiers, and... The, the, the maze has the perfect count for it. Exactly. How he will fare against these turrets? I mean, he already has those MG the border carriers, detected. so he will he can use those to quickly take care of all these turrets. And by the way, do you think the salami have a um, sword upgrade? I don't think so, right? Well, even if he has, so he isn't using it. <laughs> yeah, because he hasn't upgraded his turrets with the anti-vehicle uh, weapons either, so 
maybe he doesn't have a sword, or maybe he just forgot about it, but yeah, this is looking very good for Salam right now. Well, I think he, that Salami thought he would get away with just building Grenadiers, because, I mean, Tesquans are extremely strong. I, I think he was thinking, okay, Grenadiers are a counter to it, let's just build only those units. But, yeah, if you, if you just mass one unit and the other guy builds the counter, you are pretty much done for. Yeah, exactly. And that's one of the things I like in active progression, that you need multiple units. I mean, you can't get away with tanks only. You need Still a bit of everything. Nice defense, though. Just choke point here, but you can see so much more coming in right now. Wow. Yeah. And he's even building turrets in the front line. Wow. Look at that. Building those turrets. Yeah, he's even building turrets in his base, I think, next to his bank, actually, he's building these turrets right now. Sealing the deal here. Oh no, the turrets get taken down. We can see some metal storms actually coming out now, but they'll be spotted Stealth soon enough. Detected. They're going in one by one. Yeah. Yeah, there isn't much Salami can do right now. Even if he can hold this attack off, which he probably can, then Maze just has the map and he can take out the, the banking position on the left side. Cutting yeah. him down from income. I mean, yeah. it will be really, really hard. I mean, just simply take down his income and win the long game. I mean, you don't have to win it with this attack, but you can probably, but you don't have to. Yep, exactly. You can see Maze doing exactly that, building two more refineries on the mid oil fields. Wouldn't be surprised if he went that on one right now, get that last economy upgrade, and just seal the deal. <laughs> Those mortar carriers proving to be so. So valuable right now, but you know the Grenadiers are still doing quite a bit of work. You see, yeah. uh, well, I, s I was just thinking that those uh, striker tusks MCs, those, what they barely do any damage. I mean, they just, I don't know, they are shooting quite a bit, but it seems yeah. like they do not hit at all. Yeah, you do have to realize though that there are neighbors with healing, so um, most of the damage is immediately heal back up. Yeah, but still, there were five of them and. They didn't kill a single grenadier. Yeah. Or maybe now. Maybe it's the range. He should have fired from closer, but I don't know. Yeah. But still, I don't think he should have lost his units here. He should have moved them to the left. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's but Mace is still in control of uh, both of the banks, though. So he's getting a quite a bit of economic advantage from that point. However, Salami feels like he was ahead in refineries. Now he's not. Oh, he's look at the left, all the all the tusks. Tusk ones. Yeah, that's quite a bit of strikers. I think <laughs> he, could just, he could just finish if he went in right now. Yeah, I think so as well. There's not not much Salami can do right now. I mean, stealth enemy unit detected. Stealth enemy detected, even not even sure what there happened. Yeah, all that once. Crusher is gonna find out that there's a huge army there. Well, he sent him a bunch of crushers already. Like one, two, three, four, five wrecks, car wrecks there, so he already noticed. Yep. Yeah, well, he should just move in, clear the bank, clear the left side of all the uh, mining refineries, and then just get on with it. Exactly. I see quite a bit of mineral storms now coming in for Salami. I think he's gonna try and contest that Tusk army, but... Metal Storm, th those those units are anti-infantry, aren't they? Um, well, they're anti-everything, but they're very close range. So, and plus belt the stealth, though, so you won't see them until they fire, unless you have detection, which is pretty cool. If they can get in range, they will wreck pretty much everything, but <laughs> I don't think he has enough. No, he has like about 10 of them against... Well, I would say 12 or something like that, Tusk once. I mean, it's impossible. Yeah, and now we can see Salami is just scouting and he sees that Maze has all the refineries in the middle as well as quite a nice base. And if he moves in too close, he's gonna get hit by the phalanx in his base. Oh, and he stays just out of range. And there Wait, we go. That's one of the problems with uh, the current... Uh, uh, how do you say how many oil there is on the field? Only in the middle there was oil, and yeah, it's all in the hands of USA right now of Mace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I dislike uh, the setup quite a bit. This resource placement. Usually there's oil next to uh, one <laughs> on either side of the bank. You can take as your quick second field. But 
I this think it's a GG. Around. Yeah. He stopped. <laughs> Salami surrendered. So it's actually maze one, Salami zero. All right. All right. Well, maze one. Ha! What a surprise. Well, you actually. S oh, my game crashed. Yeah, just it's just.